It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, so make sure you don't miss Blue Peter on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 4.35 on CBBC on BBC One. again. Half an hour of Basil's game show with some of the best games seen outside of the Olympics. That's what I think, and I'm sticking to it. Plus, some of the best jokes ever seen on the screen. That's what I think, and I'm sticking to it. And someone has spread glue on my tabletop. That's what I think. And I'm sticking to it. So, why not stick around with me and enjoy the show? Help. Did you hear about Mark? No, what happened to Mark? He had a surgeon take his right arm off. Oh, well, why would Mark do something like that? He wants to sail around the world single-handed. <laughs> OK, it's the first round of games. Vote dunk beds in the next election. Let's meet the team. We're the Tigers. We're going to make Kylie out the bees. And the zebras better watch out because the tigers are about. We're the zebras, so don't cross us. We're massive and yes, so don't make a fuss. We're the best, better than all the rest. B E E S, we're the bees and we're the best. We can buzz and we can sing because we can do anything. That's neat, I really love those tiger feet. So, it's a knockout challenge. Three teams start, but only one team will have the chance to go through and win. And go home with all the big prizes! <laughs> OK, here we go. Basil, get yourself ready in position, please. Oh, running all the way, dunk fans. Whee! Thank you very much. Uh, Tony here, of course. Tony's short for Antonio. Do you know what E.T.'s short for? Dunno. He's got little legs. <laughs> he's got, that's why he's short. Sorry about that. OK, then, right then. You know what to do. You know what to push, Mario, yeah? Yeah. What score are you going for? About 500. That'll do. Best of luck with it, Basil. We're ready. OK, Tigers, go on the P of the push. Three, two, one, push! Come on! Push. Very strong. Come on down to Pearson. Too strong, I think. Come on down to Pearson. You can do it. Yeah, that's far too strong. Come on that's down to Pearson. That is definitely... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. See you later. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, you have oh. your bid. Double thumbs up from Tiger Antonio, but who knew you? Stripey Splasher Rooney. Well, let's go over to Frosty and find out the official scores on the fridge doors. Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors there. The Tigers were caught catnapping because it's a dunk, a wet dunk, with zero points! <laughs> Yasmin, you look nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. Why? Because I didn't want to get gunged. Do you think you're going to? If you do that zero points, that puts you level with the first team. That's not a bad thing. Are you ready for this, Matthew? Yeah. Hard as you like. All right, then, Basil, we're all set. The zebras are nervous. They've got the trots. Going in three, two, one. Push! Come on! Come on, Sam! Push! Come on, Dan! Very good push. Come on, Dan! You might be too strong. You can do it. Although it's starting to slow down a little bit. Push! You might be OK. Is that you might not be going to go. You've wet your feet. I told you, it's lovely and warm, isn't it? A sideways glance, but the only way is down. A bouncy, bouncy splash. A zebra leap of faith for Yasmin. Say cheese. Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. It's another wet dunk, which means zero points for the zebras. They're all wetting their bigs. It's fair to say this party is buzzing. Blossom. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. We have never had an all dunking round before. No. Will it be the first, do you think? No, most definitely not. <laughs> Kerry, most definitely not in the gunge, please. OK. But if you go in, it's good, cos you're all level. All right, then, Basil, we're set. Most definitely in the dunk, please! Going in three, two, one, push! Oh. Come on, bees! Good push. Oh, that's too good strong. Push. That's it's a very good push. Strong. It's nearly springtime, so it must be time for Falling Blossom! Splash! But it's still brrr, wintry, cold, watery gunge. Let's confirm those scores. 
Well, as the bees go flying into the drink, it's another zero points because it's a triple hat-trick dunk from the bees. Yeah! Just checking the scores at the halfway point of this week's dunk bids. It's a very simple roundup, actually. It's all square. The tigers, the zebras, and the bees all went in the drink and have zero points. Yay! What a bunch of drips. This is where the game can turn. It's the double dunk round, which means double points for the points scored. Um, Antonio, you're pushing. Mario, you're on the bed this time. Now, what do you think about Antonio as a friend? Do you think he's going to go for the payback here or for a good score? Good score. Good score. Yeah, yeah. It's all on you, Antonio. Let's find out how good a friend he is. OK, Basil, we're ready. Come on, Tigers. Since everything's double, you're going in six, four, two, push! Come on! Oh. Scoring zone. Oh, That's landed in minus 50. Let's go to Frosty and confirm the scores. Woo! Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. I'm afraid it's going to be a double minus. They scored minus 50. We double it to minus 100. Adding a zero point from their first round, it means the Tigers have minus 100 points. <laughs> OK, Zebras, it's your turn. This time, Yasmin, you're pushing. Are you going to go for a high score? Yeah. Yeah. Slightly yeah. confident. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of cows in a field, that move. Basil, we're ready. Will it be a long push? Short of the drink. Find out in three, two, one. Push! Oh. Come on, Zebras. Push. Oh, I see. That think might be the score. less than minus 50. This could be a very I interesting game. Right. Minus 50, can you believe it? It's going to be a close game. Let's go to Frosty. Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge door. Some long faces from the Zebras because they scored minus 50. We double it to make minus 100 points. Combining that with their first round score of zero points, it makes minus 100 points. <laughs> First time ever, this is where Double Dunk doesn't really need to come into this part of the game because actually, if you score zero points here, Blossom, then you're going through to the next round. Kerry, how do you feel about that? Um, good. Do you know how to score zero points? Um, we're aiming to go in the guns. Are you? Yes. To make sure you're definitely going through. Yeah. You don't mind that? Good. Let's go for it, Basil. I think they're going to fly down here on a wing and a prayer. It's the drink. I go think. on, Blossom. Flying in three, two, one, push! Oh. Come on! Oh. than Lewis Hamilton. Whoa! She suffers whiplash for the cause, but it puts the bees in the driving seat. Vroom. That broke the land speed record. Let's go to Frosty. <laughs> Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. Yes, the bees went flying into the drink with zero points. Combining that with their first round score of zero points, it's a magnificent zero point! <laughs> We know the bees are certainly through to the next round, but this is the exciting bit. We have the first ever dunk off on dunk bids. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> boom, boom. Ooh. So come on, teams. Going in three, two, one. Push. Oh, oh dear. Oh, a little nervy. A little nervy. Oh, come on down, zebras. The Tigers have stopped at minus 500, but the Zebras push on to a winning score. 750 points! Boom, boom! That means we've got to say goodbye to the Tigers, everybody. Oh. I know, but look, you get your wheel of pencil sharpness. There you go. There's yours, and you get one more thing. What's that, Basil? They get their GRH, their Gorilla Ride home! <laughs> what a great way to travel, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Cheers, Tigers. Graveyard of Terror. Welcome to Basil's Graveyard of Terror. <laughs> Without further ado, I shall begin. Over the hill and through the valley, across the town and down the alley. Make awful smells when your bowels relax. 
as the hideous monster Frankenstein attacks you! <laughs> what the... What on earth are you supposed to be? I told you, Frankenstein! Yeah, I know. But you're nothing like him. Where's your green skin, your flat head? The imposing bra, the stitches. Where are the bolts through your neck? Basil, you have made a classic and common error there, you see. <laughs> You've just described Frankenstein's monster. Yes. Well, you asked me to be Frankenstein. Right. Well, that's who I am. Victor Frankenstein. I am the mad scientist and creator of said monster. <laughs> 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 You uh, uh, always uh, uh, have to do this to me, don't you? Yes. You make me look stupid in front of everyone, don't you? Yes. Why can't uh, you just do what you're supposed to do? Just for once. Please. See you next time on... Well, if there is a next time. Oh! oh. Bezel's Graveyard of Terror. Oh, my God, please. Graveyard of Terror. Okay, it's the second round of games, and it's the zebras versus the bees. And here we are in this picturesque, idyllic setting of the Black Forest, the French-Canadian suburb of Gateau, <laughs> the spiritual home of second round games, trees and cakes. Yummy. Now, it's a sustainable forest, and it's looked after by the very talented and capable lumberjack who goes by the name of Justin. Justin Timber! Timber! Cake. Timber cake is my name. Rocking my body with some trees is my game. And see, I've cried like a weeping willow. I think of oak, pine, and fir when I'm on my pillow. So, Senorita, Sycamore, what goes around comes around, and that's for sure. And that's for sure. That's for sure. That's for sure. Rivers, bringing sexy back into the world of trees and not before tech. I just hope the game's as good as that. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> OK, thanks for that. The game involves throwing those cakes at those trees behind us using this catapult. If uh, no one's around, does anyone hear a cake splitting into a tree? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, let's ask our woodland-loving creatures over here. We've got the, the beavers here, Team Beavers, remember them? They're now... Uh, yeah, they're ready to chomp at the bit, as it were. And we've got our woodworms here, Team Woodworms. OK, now, you're going to be going first, OK? So, Team Beavers, if you'd like to go to the treehouse green room over there, get yourself a nice cup of tea and some twigs to chew on or something, I don't know. So, the team who knocks down the most trees in 60 seconds wins. But if they knock down the same amount of trees, the team who do it the quickest win. OK, here we go. Zebras, you're in place. We're going in three, two, one. Cakes away! Fire away! They pulled that one. Good, good shot. Good shot. Oh, nearly. Just missed. Make sure you don't hit Basil. Oh, quick, nearly. As fast as you can. Don't forget this wind against the clock. If you hit the same oh, as the no, team, hit team bees. That's it, loads. Now you're thinking about it. Now you're thinking about it. Go for the back ones, go for the back ones. Quick, Matthew, help her out, get it back in there. Oh. Pull it back as far as you can, let go, keep going, keep going. On me, it, on me, it. Oh! Okay. To the right, Thanks to the right. Shot. Oh Bring it back now, y'all. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh! Miles away. Need it on, Yasmin. You got eight seconds left. The zebras lost their hats, but found their range quickly and filled two trees in quick succession. And four in total. Tremendous! OK, you must now focus on the challenge ahead. I've always wanted to do that, I don't know why. Listen, it's Team Bees or Team Beavers, ready to go to beat four. Are you going to do it? Yes. You loading yeah. your firing? Yeah. Come on, then, let's go for it. Basil, we're all set. I hope the bees are ready to splat away because they're off in three, two, one. Cakes away! Come on, send them off. Take your time, Amy. Come Take on. your time. Go get the owl. Let go of it. Let go of it, Blossom. Pull it all back and let go. Like a proper catapult. Try again. Try again. Pull it back and let go. That's it. That's it. Timber. Kick. Go for the 
on to the back as well. Unlucky. Make sure you pull it all the way back before you let go. That's a great shot. as hard as far as you can then let go quick quick come on you can do it you got one more left one more to get make sure you put it make sure you put the cake in the sling let go of it take your hand off it and again quick quick oh you got time for one more no, no. okay sorry sorry time's up time's up after a slow start the bees twigged how to do it and even filled three in a row who won Cheer there, very deservedly so. Now, you both scored four trees. You both managed to knock four trees down. Who did it in the fastest time? That's how we're going to find out who's won. OK, I can now tell you, Team Zebras, you knocked down four trees in 58 seconds. It's good timing. Team Bs, you're right, Blossom. You look nervous. <laughs> you knocked down four trees in 34 seconds. Yes! means the bees are going through to the next round. Well done, you're on the guns later. Well, that sadly means we've got to say goodbye to the zebras, everybody. Oh. Goodbye, zebras. But listen, look, you've got your wheelie and pencil sharpener. There it is. There's yours, Matthew. Great sports. You get something else as well. What's that, Basil? They get their GRH, their Gorilla Ride Home. Yeah. See you later. Bye-bye. Well played, guys. So that's it. Bye-bye. Team zebras are done. Hi there. I'm not in at the moment, because frankly I can't be bothered. Swindon is still missing, they are rubbish, etc, etc, and... How do you turn this answer phone off? Anyway, their story continues! Oh, funny, funny. Yeah. Oh no. I've run out of things to talk about. I can't wait for Forager to start talking again. He's so funny. <laughs> I can't believe this has happened again. Red Melvin never comes up with anything to talk about. If I just keep smiling, he'll say something funny soon. <laughs> he always does. Um... There it is. It's coming. Uh... It's coming. <laughs> um... It's coming! Oh no, I can't take this pressure. <laughs> oh. Good morning, chaps, and a cracky lesson for all one. Good day. Now, team, it has come to my attention that we as superheroes lack visual harmony. That's what? rubbish, fucks, man. Hmm? Forager, yeah. in three, two, one. Ebony and ivory live together in perfect harmony. That is very nice, guys, but what I meant was our outfits don't match, eh? oh. Yeah, so I've hired some superstar stylists to give us a brand new superhero look. Please welcome Sparkle and Twinkle! Come on! Yeah. Hello. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hello. So, who's first for the makeover? Me. Uh, no, me. I'll, I'll go, go first. first. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, listen, listen, chaps. The only fair way to decide this is, of course, alphabetical order. So, uh, 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 Red Melvin, you go first. Okay. One sparkle. Get your makeup screen. Okay. Right, cover him over. Hey, they make business. We don't want to see everything. Now, don't so be shy. We're going to give you a brand new makeover. Woo! Yeah. Come on, Steve. It's back out looking like this. Amazing! Yay! High five! Wow, yeah!
yeah, yeah, you, 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 you look great. Yeah, yeah, the colour really goes with your eyes and um, yeah, your eyes, possibly yeah. a bit more pink than red, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, dear. So who's next? Uh, Forager! Uh, no, Foxman. Uh, uh, Leggy! No, I'm out of here. <laughs> next week on Zeros, this whole sorry mess comes to an end. And I'm going to finish those super freaks once and for all. We find out where Swindon has been all this time. You're kidding. No way. <laughs> I'd never have thought to look there. And Foxman finally reveals his superpower. <gasps> Foxman? Oh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Zeros making their city, sorry, their city, a safer place. Yeah! It's the final game for the big prizes. That's right, and just Team B's are left. No, oh, yes, and we're so very excited today because we've got one of the biggest stars of world wrestling. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hailing all the way from North Edmonton, that's North London, please welcome the Melvinator. I'ma break you like a breadstick. Ooh. I'ma tear you like some toilet roll. Ooh. And I'ma crush you like a quaver. Get okay. okay. you, yes. Anything else? The Melvinator. Uh, I'ma suck the jam straight out of your donut. Yeah. And uh, I'ma take some fake poo and put it in your garden. Yeah. And uh, uh I'm gonna take your, your booty love CD and put it in the Alicia Keys case without even telling you. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, um. Yeah, you're running out of ideas now, aren't you? Mm. No! Yeah, yeah, I've run out. <laughs> Phew, thank goodness for that. He looks pretty tough, that chap. But um, let's deliver him some things to beef him up a little more, shall we? Good idea. Mm. It's congelator time! Let's get ready to rumble! Okay, here's how it works. At the end of the gondulator, it's the Melvinator. Can you smell what the Melvinator is cooking? <laughs> Actually, it's some beans with those tiny little baby sausages. They're like <laughs> sausage boats floating in the bean sea. <laughs> I mean, the gondulator is always ready to lay the smack down. <laughs> so there are going to be five levels to face, okay? With each level, the gondulator gets faster, and there are also going to be five obstacles making it harder the more you progress throughout the game. And there are five prizes to be won, one for each level. Ooh! So let's get this gundulator moving. Dr. John, crank him up. This is level one. This is for the Lumberjacks' favourite, the Wheelie Bean Pencil Sharpeners. Come on, Dr. Take your time. OK, grab it. A nice kind of speech to build Melvin up there. Good job, good job. <laughs> Level two, the gundulator is getting so much faster. Can sex ever be sporty? Yes, they can. This is for the sports sex. Watch out for giant haystacks. They mean business. Take it tag. Reach up and grab it. Reach up. You want to reach to grab it, Kerry? There you go. Give it a good pull. Right, 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 right. Big good run up. A good run up. Well done. Oh, well played. Back heels the wrestling belt and swats the haystack like they flies. Zzz. It's now level three. The gundulator is getting so much faster. Magic is just an illusion. Fact. Magic kicks up for grabs. Next up, we've got a nose piercing from Brighton. Oh, Only kidding. It's a set of weights. Get a good pull. Get a good pull. Make sure it's off. That's what I need! <laughs> Blossom off-roads with a beautiful pirouette stroke stumble. But she's soon back on track to make that wrestling belt jump. Wow! Phew! Level four, the gundulator is getting faster and faster. We can hardly keep up. Do it yourself at home. Home website kits are up for grabs right now. Oh, 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 give it a pull, give it a pull. Nice bit of steak. 
Squeeze through Triple H when you can break through it with a juicy steak. Well done. This is level five, the top level. The Gundulator is at its top speed, and the top prize is up for grabs. Games consoles with top oh, games. Oh, 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 like to all the way to the Melbourne edge, please. Just imagine school cross country. Well, well done. Well done. Well done. Big job. Big job. Big job. Big job. Big job. Big job. The Rock. What Rock? Blossom breaks through but comes a cropper and falls just before she can deliver those multivitamins. Oh, so close! Assume the position. We're not gonna ganja later. We're gonna ganja now! Oh, Wait, bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Oh, big up, brave Blossom! She's my hero! Look at that face, Blossom. That is the closest anybody's ever been at the end. How are you feeling? Gutted. Hey, it's all, it's all good, don't we? You've got four out of the five prizes. Let's take a look at them. Let's bring them in. Look at that. Yeah. It's all good. Are you happy? <laughs> Kerry, give her a gooey cuddle. Go on. Tell her she did well. You don't want to get covered in guns, do you? It's OK. Basil, <laughs> we're all happy over here. We've got our prizes. It's all good. So we have some very pleased gandulators, and we've managed to build up the Milvinator to super strength proportions. Can you see what the Melvinator is lifting? Watch my guns in action. One second. How embarrassing. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Mummy, of course I've got some clean panties on. <laughs> oh, <I> rumbled. <laughs> Well, that's all we've got time for. But as you can see, I'm still glued to my tabletop. So you'll probably see me next time for another Bezels game show. But as they say in the movies, I'll be back. Pesta la vista, baby. <laughs> well, that's what I'll be having for tea if I can get out of here. I'm just one final big pull. It's a good job the ring's a small one, because the wrestlers are actually thumbs. Get ready to thumble. I got this cuz, and he's well cool, but he's so small he don't go to school. Big up the preschool massive, respect to the toddler. Bow! Bow! <laughs>